when people are feeling overwhelmed, a lot of times it's easy to just like go for a walk, kind of get some fresh air, feel better. Is that activating the parasympathetic system, right? Because that's the thing that's supposed to be associated with feeling calm. But also you're, you're up and moving around, so you need to be activating the sympathetic system. So uh, that, does that break your brain, right? So instead of thinking about those two as antagonistic, you're either one on, one off, what you can think about instead is that by going out, moving your body, we're actually coupling a couple different systems together. Number one, we're coordinating our respiratory pattern, the way we're breathing. We're coordinating that with our spinal locomotor circuits, which is just a way of saying those simple things that we do when we walk that we don't really think about. So most people don't have to think about like swinging their arms when they walk, right? That's just a normal thing that happens. Those things get coordinated together. And those also get coordinated with cardiovascular reflexes that help us to distribute blood flow to the muscles and to the brain while we're moving. So walking has this wonderful capacity to be able to help us coordinate all these functions together. And by coordinating them, that's actually where the calmness comes from because everything is working together. Now, for those of you that notice that I can't get up, I start to feel dizzy, walking tires me out, we know that that's then an error in the ability to coordinate those systems. So we have to work even more upstream from that and say, how do we affect those reflexes so that they are able to coordinate again? And if we just change that little approach, I think it's really useful. I hope it helps.